encapsulates what we do and how we do it. It's a lady that sold a house to me. So it, 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 it ties in the community aspect of what I teach on House Monster and What's kind of cool about that is the house monster is really designed to pull people into a community-based business. And in the community-based business, what happens is that people refer deals to you. They refer people to you that are thinking about selling or have told them that they want to sell. But most of those properties are not even listed, right? They're not on the market. They just connect you. You tell them, of course, that they're going to get a referral fee and they say, hey, I've got somebody for you. Then I've got a great story about this gentleman that cuts my hair. And he said, hey, you need to meet this lady. She's going to retire. She's moving to Florida. She wants to sell her house. She's by herself. Her husband passed away. She doesn't know what to do or how to do it. She doesn't want to deal with all the stuff on selling a property. And so I said, okay, great. I'll meet with her. So sure enough, we set up an appointment. I came over, I made my presentation. And this is one of the things about our system that's so cool is that we make a presentation to the seller. So it's designed to solve questions that they might have about who we are and what we do and things that might stop them from working with us. So we try to overcome those issues in advance with our presentation. So I made my presentation. And then at the end of our presentation, we do something called a cost to sell worksheet. And that cost to sell worksheet, so cool. So the seller actually helps to create the offer. The seller actually is working with you with the numbers filling them in as you're doing the calculations so they can see how you're arriving at your offer price works great. And we got down to the bottom line and she said, gosh, is that the best you can do? And I said, actually, no, there is another way. If we were to take over your first and second mortgage, then I can actually add back what I was going to pay to a hard money lender. I can add that back and just take over your payments and just allow for those payments during our holding period. And she said, really? So I did the calculations on that and showed her and added that back to the bottom line. And she was so thrilled. And that's the deal we made. Now, what's really interesting about that is in the conversation with her, I asked her what she does and I found out that she's a paralegal and I said, Oh, great. Uh, what area of the law firm do you work in? She says, Oh, in litigation. I said, no kidding. So how long you been doing that? She said, 42 years. I said, no kidding. So you are retiring now in the meantime, in my mind, I'm thinking, Oh my goodness. So by the time I get this deal put together, she's going to definitely have to have, one of her attorney friends approved this thing and sign off on it, what have you. And I found out that wasn't true at all. Got to the bottom line and she agreed to it. She never asked to show it to an attorney. Now what's unique about that is the fact that my plan was to take over her existing financing, not only one mortgage, but two mortgages that she had on the property and take over the payments on that. And she said, well, how is this going to work? And I said, well, one of the things that we've discovered is that lenders have a due upon sale clause in the mortgage. And what we do is we go ahead and just put the property in trust. That's going to protect you and it's going to protect us. And it's going to put us in a position that the lender will not call the loan due. And she said, okay. And so then, of course, she came to the office. We had the paperwork there. She looked it over. She approved it. She read every line. She approved it. She signed off on it. That was the end of it. We told her, look, you can take your toothbrush and leave everything else. You can take whatever you want and leave everything else, whatever you'd like to do. Sure enough, that's exactly what she did. She took the things she wanted. She left everything else. Now, what did we do with that deal? 
we offered it on our path to home ownership program. And what we do with that program is we seek people within the community that are looking for a better life than the one they've got. And they'd love to have home ownership. So sure enough, we had some folks come along. They had some option fee money that they could purchase an option to purchase that property. How great was that? So we were able to come in and offer them the house as is. And so all the furniture that was there, everything that she had left behind, the new people actually wanted. And we did 0.0, .0 work to the house because we gave our new buyers the opportunity to have a credit towards the purchase of the home for taking the property as is and agreeing to do some or all of the repairs to the property. Well, that made it such a sweet deal for them, made it a great deal for us, of course, because we kept any repair money in our pockets. So not only did they give us an option fee, they also took the property as is. And uh, they had a marvelous opportunity for themselves. And of course, given the discounting that happened with the cost to sell worksheet and the typical marketing time of six months disappeared for us because we were able to actually find our buyer very, very quickly using our house monster system. So the house monster had already done its work, already brought us some leads of potential buyers. And so the money that we allowed for in our conversation with the seller, which was to carry the property for six months, that disappeared and became a profit because we already had potential buyers lined up. And that's exactly what we teach on what to do and how to do it is building that community-based business, getting leads nobody else knows about, stealth buying properties, and selling them as well. No signs, no exposure, no marketing in terms of being on the MLS. It never was on the MLS to buy and it never was on the MLS to sell. Now that, my friends, is how to do this business. Even when the market is hot as a firecracker, we're buying and selling properties. And that's what I'd love to show you. Come see us at the upcoming Millionaire Jumpstart. We've got so much great information there and maybe you haven't seen this before. I'm sure that I've given you some ideas about how to do this business the right way, but it really takes me three days to go all the way through all the details and help you see the big picture of this amazing multi-million dollar business model that I love showing other folks how to build the same way that we've done it. So I hope to see you soon at an upcoming event. Yeah, baby.